was I lived in uh, Washington, D.C. And uh, I was studying in Georgetown University School of Foreign Service for four years. And I worked in the U.S. Congress also as an intern. So I was uh, struck by the fact that the American political system has become very uh, divisive and uh, very uh, on a collision course. And by political tribalism, I meant that it's almost like a Republican Democratic civil war in Washington now. For example, if you listen to CNN, they will always be attacking uh, Trump. If you listen to Fox News, they will always be attacking Biden. And there's no meeting ground. So this repl uh, reflects in my mind a tribal mindset that you are confined to the cocoons or the narrow clannish interests of your either political party or your political base. So that's why I said it's political tribalism. Is that part of uh, <laughs> somehow inalienable part of democracy? No, it is not. It is too extreme. Is, yeah, it's too extreme. And this is against society because society has different views. And if you just have this unending uh, internecine uh, civil war of sorts, political polarization, conflict, confrontation, fighting on every issue, then the interests of the people suffer. Democracy is supposed to serve the interests of society and the people as a whole, not the interest of one small group or clan or vested interest or a lobby or, uh, or one political tribalism <laughs> reflecting a certain narrow political interest.